Well, good morning. So we're back out here in the soybeans uh, in the Extend Flex trial. This is the same trial I've been in before in the summer, and it's close to my house down here in the bottom. And what I want to do this morning is talk a little bit about our early subset in this trial. And, and, and the reason I say subset is because these early beans are earlier than, than the mid group in, in this trial. And I think everywhere that we're testing them. So I have a, a 37, 3721, the 3521, the 3421. But what I find pretty quickly is the earliest of those three is a 3721. It, in this trial and in the one at Malta Bend, Missouri, and we've noticed this throughout our testing here this summer, the channel, that the 3721 is turning color and it is now at R6. And I have a plant here and you can see that these top pods and if you can get up here and look at those, you can see that they're they're already starting to turn color. Okay, so we, we have plants out here that the pods are now starting to turn color at the top of the plant. And here is a a plant I pulled out of the three fours, which are are two numbers behind me here. The three fives are these ones right here next to me, and then the three fours are out there to the west a little bit. And you can see that there are they're probably R six, but they're not quite starting to turn color yet. Now, the, we see a little bit of yellow leaf and a little yellowing in, in that strip, in that trial entry, but they're not as far along. It may, it may be only a half a day difference than the three sevens. And the three fives are the fullest maturing of these three. Now, I, again, I don't know which one's mislabeled. I couldn't tell you whether the three fives are a three seven, and this is a three five, these three sevens are, or how this should look. But I can tell you that the three sevens will mature sooner than the three fives and about the same time as those three fours. So they are the, the three sevens, like I said, are already at uh, R6. So they're, they're about done. The other thing I noticed, and this is true, I think, in several of these numbers, for sure, in the three fours, the three fives to some degree, and definitively in the three seven, is that we're going to see large seed size. Now, seed size in soybeans. Uh, can be uh, attributed to multiple different reasons. Uh, number one, of course, is the genetics could continually produce large seed size, and some varieties do not, so some of them are smaller seeded than others. But you can get small seed in any soybean if we lack water in, during the fill period. So once we get uh, into late August and early September, today is the, uh, what is it, the 13th of September. So if we get this time of year, if we're short of water, we could see small seed in all soybeans. And if we get good moisture, and we've had pretty decent moisture here, August was dry, but we've had good moisture here, and we get good moisture during fill period, we could see larger seed in all varieties. Okay, but still some differences based on genetics. Um, I think this three se this uh, three seven this thirty seven twenty one looks like it's going to have large seed, uh, even uh, relative to these other entries in this trial. So uh, I think that's probably something to look forward uh, to, look at the data and look at the seed size when we harvest these trials. I also think that this trial here in the bottom looks like we're going to have some exceptionally high yields. Um, the seed is big. The pod set is excellent. Uh, we go out here uh, 1,000 feet. Uh, we've got 20 feet times 1,000. We've got a half an acre. So we're going to get some really good data off this trial. But like I said, what I really want to talk about this morning was the fact that there's some differences in maturities, and these three tend to sort of separate themselves from, say, the 4020s and the 4320s and, and, the, and the later material with the 4721s we have in this trial.